Microsoft definitely has the drive to compete with the major players in gaming with services like Game Pass, First Party Studio Software, and now a more stronger presence in the hardware market with the leak of Microsoft's new Xbox device on Twitter. Let's look at how Microsoft is once again lowering the barrier to entry to the Xbox ecosystem. What is up fellow members of the gaming community, Centurion1307 here and thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's begin with the fun. In a recent post on Twitter by Phil Spencer where he was congratulating Bethesda on the anniversary of the Fallout series and just how far the series has come over the years, as usual Phil Spencer uses his shelves for a fun game of I Spy With My Little Eye. Perched on the top shelf in the image, we can see a white device with an Xbox logo that looks like a mini Xbox Series S. This device is more than likely the Xbox streaming device that Microsoft talked about over a year ago and goes by the code name Keystone. Nope, not that Keystone. In an interview over a year ago with Stratechery, Phil Spencer made the comment, I think you're going to see lower priced hardware as part of our ecosystem when you think about streaming sticks and other things that somebody might want to just go plug into their TV and go play via xCloud. You could imagine us even having something that we just include with the Game Pass subscription that give you an ability to stream xCloud games to your television and buying the controller. This device will add on to how Microsoft plans to compete in the gaming space and take full advantage of delivering their games and services to a broader audience. The growth of streaming platforms is staggering. Just before 2018, the revenue for streaming was just over $27.5 billion in revenue. Fast forward to today, with more people ditching cable and satellite, the streaming market has become extremely competitive with services like Apple TV and Disney Plus giving the OG services like Netflix and Amazon Prime a run for their money. This has led to streaming revenue being worth over $80 billion in 2022 and projected to be over $129 billion in revenue by 2026. Now with Microsoft's potential buyout of Activision Blizzard, we could see a major game streaming service take a big lead over smaller services, especially with the help of new hardware like this and the implementation of the Game Pass app on being available on newer TVs like the Samsung QLED. It should be a given that this device will have access to a lot of popular music, movie, and TV streaming services from all around the world, but it will give consumers access to a gaming experience without a huge upfront cost. This goes along with Spencer's comments on lower priced hardware as part of our ecosystem. While competitors like Sony raise the price of its hardware and PC rigs that can outperform consoles are costing double, sometimes triple the cost of a console, Microsoft Xbox continues to lower the barrier of entry on the Xbox ecosystem with devices like the Keystone and services like Game Pass and xCloud Gaming. With this device, an individual with little money or desire to spend a fortune on gaming will be able to get one of these devices plus a controller and have access to the Xbox ecosystem. Connecting with players around the world on top of having access to Game Pass and hundreds of games in xCloud Gaming. To be absolutely honest, I want one of these devices when I get dragged away from home to a family get together and I just want to bring my games and entertainment with me. So there we are, that's all the info I have on this hardware leak. At this point, no info has been given on Keystone's actual name or when it will be released. But I'm going to assume that Phil Spencer putting this picture on Twitter means that that info probably isn't that far off from being announced. Tell me what you think down in the comments below or hit me up on Twitter. Are you excited for this? Are you kinda interested or is it just not your cup of tea? 
Thank you all my friends for tuning in, I'm Centurion1307 and I will see you next time.